you try fiddling with the rabbit ears because sometimes that works. Salutations socialites, it's automatic for automatic games, bringing you yet another in a series of videos showcasing Hefty Satchel, our tribal raider build for Fallout 4, who we last saw conducting a raid against the Abernathy farm. Now he's back to recruiting at Red Rocket Village, seeking the assistance of a warrior named Brahmin Bull who will gladly help him. I mean, after all, he helped him with the Abernathy raid, so... Next they move south to the Rust Devils at Grey Garden. Uh, and to get their help, it's just a matter of handing over some of the meat that we managed to score from the Abernathy raid. Then they gladly offer a warrior. The toughest negotiations have to be the Oberland village. After all, many of their warriors have become scouts for the Minutemen. In this precarious position, I consider the chief wise for handing over some warriors to Hefty's cause. Soon they're heading out of uh, Oberlin Village to their last destination uh, in this recruiting drive. And that's going to be Hangman's Alley, home to a tribe of the Forged. Um, if he gets their assistance, or even if he doesn't get their assistance, he'll continue south to Somerville Place, where there's a small farm, mother, father, two children. Um, Hopefully they have something in the way of uh, livestock. If not, we'll just take the crops and whatever's inside. Again, this is an attempt to get the Minutemen to move their forces south and away from our villages. Now along this journey, some of these warriors are actually becoming a little familiar. And for that reason, they have names. Brahmin Bull is the one wearing the iBot helm. In front of him is Big Bear. The next guy is a warrior from Zamanja. Uh, we'll just call him Sid. Ah, and the female warrior from Zamanja that is obviously suffering from radiation damage. That's Bernadette. And it's because of her lack of hair that the rest of the Zamanja tribe shave their heads. It's out of respect for her. The exception being um, Hefty Satchel. Because after all, he's the war boss. So he gets the sport of Mohawk. Plus, it just kind of looked better. So that's Sid. Congratulations, Sid. You were just named. Directly behind Hefty is Sugar Bomb, a female warrior from Zamanja and a friend to uh, Bernadette there. The man with them, I think he's a provisioner from Oberland Village. He's just part of the trade route that connects our villages. Also heading to Hangman's Alley, I presume. Now, as you can tell, I've tried to put some distinction between each tribe. For instance, Zamanja obviously wears all leathers and they all have shaved heads for a reason that I just explained. Then you've got Ten Pines. They tend to wear uh, followers of Adam Brown's or Radstag hide, really. I guess next you've got Starlight Village. They wore tattered rags or tattered outfits. The Red Rocket Tribe, they tend to wear long johns and they all wear the iBot helm and a variety of raider armor. The Oberlin Tribe, they, they pretty much wear the raider leathers. And whatever kind of armor. Honestly, I threw some of the uh, Diamond City armor to them. Because I figured their proximity, they, they might have picked up some of that armor along their travels. Then, of course, in Grey Garden, it's the Rust Devils. And in Hangman's Alley, as I alluded to earlier, it's the Forged. 
again just to give each tribe a little bit of identity that way if I see them on a trade route I know where they're from that way if they're coming with me when I go to release them I know where to send them they don't all have names but for the sake of this video if we start seeing one more than once uh, I'm gonna name them Now once Hefty gets a thumbs up or thumbs down from the Forged, uh, he's going to make his move on Somerville. Again, it's just to distract the Minutemen and get them to allocate forces in the deep south of the Commonwealth. Well, join us for the next raid. And thanks for watching the video. As usual, if you like the video...